sure you keep up with all the new content on Gaming for XP. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. And we'll let you know once we've uploaded anything that's new. See ya! Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the kind of survivalist series that we've been putting together. Um, if you remember, we've done this hideaway in the woods and... Um, what I want to do, do today is do another build in that series. And what we're going to do is we're going to take um, a workshop anywhere and we're going to move it. Mainly because I didn't want to have workshop anywheres all over the place. So I, I thought I'd do an experiment and see if this works and it actually did. So you can actually just physically pick it up <clears throat> and move it to where you want. Now, I've been scouting around for a location for quite a while. And I've been trying to do this kind of build for quite a while. Um, and that is a cave kind of dwelling stroke kind of area where survivors come along, find a cave and build something. Now, the only drama we have here is that that log is sticking out there like that. I can't move it because I'm using a workshop anywhere, so I have to leave it. Now, transitioning, I spent a long time getting this cave right and even the version you see here is not the final version actually we have to spend quite a bit of time widening it reconfiguring it etc but what i'm going to do in today's video is i'm going to show you a little bit of the building process and where i started to head with this and then we'll get into the final tour the video is not too long today um, it's there's lots of bits and pieces so this is our starting point um, for the decoration or building side of things you have to spend a long time building this um, cave and I used a number of mods to do that um, which you, you will find um, a lot of the rocks uh, and stone pieces from dry rock gouch is what I used Put some of these raider tents up, played around with quite a few different kind of canvases and uh, finally uh, decided to use the raider tents. Now, <laughs> as you can see, yeah, finding somewhere to place these was a bit of a pain, but I finally found a space just off to the left there where I can put them down and then pick them up and use a um, place anywhere to put them in. There we go. Um, and then we're good we get going and really at this point in the build i'm really just feeling my way in not quite sure how i want this to look i knew i wanted to have canvas roofs in this at some point and um, so put the first one in and then you can see i've put a number of these in and i'm using the fence post from the chain link fence as a support you could also use those spiked poles if you like um, for the same purpose so this is just really outlining the starting point for me in the build and just see where it takes me um, one of the things you have to be careful of if you're going to use these as supports is getting the angle right the angle can be a bit weird um, to get these supports to look as though they're connected um, but we get there eventually so yep that's where we start let's move this out the way for a minute check it over there now what happens with the workshop anywhere um, mod is you can pick it up like you, you've seen and um, all the resources will come with you uh, which is a pretty neat trick i didn't think it would work but i tried it and sure enough it does so i'm using the uh, posts beams and supports mod and i've just laid out a whole lot of pieces of um, material and I'm just going to start adding them in as a wall and see where it takes us. Um, no real plan. I'm just going to put these together. And um, it actually comes out really, really, really good. Now I'm just moving these out of the way because they're all kind of close together. And I've started doing this a lot. I just drop all of these um, pieces on the ground and just start adding them. And building a wall and see what happens. And if you've seen the video I done, uh, I think it was last week, on ideas for uh, fences, 
you would have seen this. I'm using this technique a lot just lately. Um, plus, uh, you know, I'm running a build a challenge on the channel at the moment, and this kind of all works together with that. So, um, here we go, just like that. It seems to want to. Um, doesn't want to go exactly where I want it, so I'm just going to push that up a little bit further and see if this will work. That's a little bit too high, but I can work with that, that's fine. Get as close to the rocks as possible, and we're going, yep, yeah, that works. And we'll start to build a little bit of a corner. So, this is really just rinse and repeat um, stuff, start adding all these different pieces. And the idea I want is I want to kind of have a an inner, an inner, inner sanctum, the uh, cave being the inner sanctum, and then there's a practical, I want this area at here, around uh, the rocks to be um, a workable area and have a number of functions in it um, that would make sense and try and make it as though look kind of uh, practical in how maybe somebody that has come to this area and wants to build a, a little settlement or a little area for himself would uh, do that. So I'd encourage you to try this kind of technique where you just get lots of little elements or lots of items of building items and just start stacking them, see where they fit uh, and just keep you know kind of building the depth of a wall or you know and this is almost like a little compound I guess a little secure area now there is a um, hut just up the hill there that I didn't even know it existed see would I will show you in the final tour exactly where we are but and you might be quite um, amazed by where we actually are because you wouldn't necessarily pick it um, just looking at this area, um, we're pretty close to a major settlement here, and you probably see it in the background, so you can probably guess where, where I'm talking about. Um, <clears throat> but there is a look up to the left, there is a little uh, shack that I didn't even, I, you know, I've played the game for a long time, there it is up there. I didn't know that it even existed, and I was, I was wandering around looking for a location, and... A nice little raider gentleman decided to jump out and start shooting at me and went, oh, okay, I didn't even know he had a house up there. So, okay, so we disposed of him and um, then it became an influence in this build. Um, and you'll see what I mean. I'll point out what part of that little shark I used in this build a little bit later on. So these pallets are great. It's funny, items that that we've got so we have these pallets in us on various other mods but just to to kind of take them off the ground and change the access actually benefits me a lot as a builder it gives me a whole lot of new materials to to play with and it's just a very simple thing same with the boxes they've just changed the orientation of those so here we go guys you can see the hideaway in the woods off in the distance there Sanctuary Hills, you can just see the roofs just up there, is just up there. And let's see what we end up with. And here we go, you can see I've spent a long time with this fence. And I'm going to show you um, in a fair bit of detail. I'll take you around and show you this fence. But you can see there's lots and lots of little elements stacked in front of each other. Um, and on top of each other to, to make this fence have some depth. Now, what I'm going to do is I'll show you this little shack on the top, which is influenced by the shack that's off to our left at the moment. And then we'll go into the main area. So, I thought I would just chuck this up on the top of the rocks. You can see there's a turret guarding over our whole settlement. There's sanctuary up there. And I've kept this very, very simple in here. Um, the only thing that I thought with this build is that it is pretty vulnerable to people coming across these rocks and jumping in. But um, I think that's just a small detail. Um, put this little ladder on the rocks as, as settlers probably would do. And uh, we'll just take you around the... Uh, 
exterior wall and let you absorb all the different elements that are in here because there's lots and bits and pieces around the place There's lots of tires lying around, lots of bars lying around in the immediate area, so this all kind of works. And you can see I've glitched right into the rock there. Now, I have made the cave area a little bit wider, and you'll see that in a sec. Um, let's go in here. And where are we going to look first? Okay, so we might take you up. We have a little workshop area that we've built up here. You see there's lots of scrappy bits lying around. So there's an armor workbench up here. And you know, a whole lot of bits and bobs. Courtesy of a number of mods. Um, usually creative clutter that I use for these, but there are there are others that's easy for you to see. This uh, person has a lot of water pumps, so this is water um, requirements, and I've done a small little outdoor kitchen, very kind of compact. Probably could do a little bit more decoration, but I, I like that Like that there's very little um, there, it's very sparse. And you can see there's lots of things kind of lying around. We have an early warning device in the can chains, uh, chimes, sorry. Um, just in case somebody gets through the inner the outer defense, um, it might just be the the difference between the person defending himself and not. So welcome to the cave. You can see that uh, log is still sticking out there, but I've chucked lots of little bits and pieces in here to make it look a little bit more homely. See, there's a little keg that he's found somewhere, and that's really the idea is that he's got lots of little bits and bobs. Uh, in the Commonwealth and brought them back and dropped them in to make this just a little bit more comfy. See, I've put a support beam in there, aligned the walls as well to make it look as though it's kind of an old mine uh, type um, type cave or something, or it's been excavated or something. Um, but everything is pretty simple. You can see he's got his little gun rack in the uh, the um, across the top there and uh, military clutter if you haven't checked that mod out yet that's fantastic I've used a bits a few bits and pieces in here so there you go guys I hope you've enjoyed this build it was a lot of pleasure it took a long time to get this done it's a pleasure to do and I really enjoyed this so thanks for supporting the channel thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time on gaming for XP see ya